Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions, and thank you so much for our time together. I'm standing here overlooking the beautiful Sea of Galilee. We look forward to you joining us in the 2019 tour. But right now, I want to read to you what, to me, is one of the saddest stories in the New Testament. One of those incredible what could have beens. In Mark chapter 10, beginning with verse 17, as he was starting out on a trip, a man came running up to him, knelt down, and asked, Good teacher, what must I do to get eternal life? Why do you call me good, Jesus asked. Only God is truly good. But as for your question, you know the commandments. Do not murder, do not commit adultery, do not steal, do not testify falsely, do not cheat, honor your father and mother. Teacher, the man replied, I've obeyed all these commands since I was a child. Jesus felt genuine love for his man as he looked at him. Did you hear that? Jesus felt genuine love for this man as he looked at him. You lack only one thing, he said. Go and sell all you have and give the money to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come and follow me. Now, there's the thing that most people miss. The man said he wanted eternal life. Jesus said eternal life is an experiential knowledge of both the Father and the Son in John 17 in the high priestly prayer. So Jesus said, you know what? Okay, you want to get to know me? Come. Here's the invitation. You can come and be with me. You can have eternal life. But the man, at this his face fell, and he went away sadly because he had many possessions. I wonder if this rich young ruler, the leader of a synagogue, if he could have become one of the twelve, if he would have become a Peter, if he would have become a Thomas, if he would have become a James or a John, if he would have been one of the ones selected to be part of the twelve, you have to ask yourself the question. And the reason he walked away from it all is not because of doctrine and not because of theology. He walked away from it all because of money. He walked away from it all because he wanted to hang on to what he had rather than take the offer of what Jesus gave him. Now, brothers and sisters, some of you today are listening to me. And when Jesus looks at you, he loves you. He feels genuine love for you. But sometimes the love of money, which is the root of all evil, Paul says, sometimes the, the lust of other things and sometimes possessions and things, they, they get in the way of what God has for you and great encounters with God and great experiences with God. The, the, the things of this temporary world get in the way of what could be. I challenge you today. When Jesus makes an offer, take up his offer because his offer doesn't flow from a heart of stinginess or taking something from you. His offer flows from a heart of love. He feels genuine love for you.